Hi, in this video tutorial, I'll show you how easy it is to allocate outstanding entries in your SFM system. SFM has a tool that cycles through all entities that have unallocated entries and enables you to allocate them. This practice in SFM helps you reduce the number of redundant entries before issuing statements or performing the end of your process. This can be done by using your keyboard. Let's check it out. I will demonstrate how to make allocations by using the client maintenance window in my sales ledger. The same procedure can be ran in the purchase ledger. With sales open, I will click the postings button in the sidebar and choose unallocated entries. We do not need to worry about knowing exactly which client has outstanding credits. We can start right at the beginning here on the list. And here are my entries for this particular client. To begin making allocations, I can use my keyboard to quickly select and allocate entries. To start, hit the tab key twice to put SFM in allocation mode. You will notice the workspace here will light up when activated. I could then use the arrow keys to scroll up and down through my entries. And when I reach the entry that needs to be completely allocated, I'll hit the space bar to mark it for allocation. SFM will automatically allocate the necessary values and it will also move the cursor to the next entry. I can do this until all allocations are completed. If I know that I have many entries to allocate within other entities, I can click Next Entity here. And the system will do two things for me at once. It will first post the allocations I just made, and then it will take me straight to the next client with outstanding credits. Using this tool will help me balance my ledgers in no time. If I ever need to step away from my ledgers whilst in the middle of making these allocations, I just need to remember the last client I completed allocations on, either by order of name or the company code. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please be sure to check out our help center for more helpful articles. I'll see you next time.